Hello everybody. In previous video, we started to talk about uh, real guitars, a real course inside of Catron Event Keyboard. Let me move to this camera just to see you better and explain you some things that we talked in previous video, then we will continue in this video. So, what is goal of every musician? What is dream? Our dream was to use live instruments and put them inside of Arranger Keyboard and listen how that sounds. Put them as a part of the style. So we had opportunity in previous model of Catron SD90 to listen to some live guitars made by Catron and we were impressed. But we didn't have opportunity to make those guitars uh, for our needs, for our kind of music and our kind of styles. So now we have that opportunity. Everybody in every country has specific kind of music that he wants to play for their crowd and he wants to have those styles and rhythms that he can make by himself and put inside of instrument. Now we have that opportunity thanks to Catron, uh, Arranger, Catron Event. And now I will uh, explain you how it works and how it sounds inside of Catron. I started that story in my previous video and now I will give you more details and more explanation about how it works inside of Catron event. Now let us listen first one style that is coming out from Catron event and it, it is made with user live instruments. Listen how it sounds. It sounds amazing. So oh, let me just stop it for a moment. <laughs> just a moment. So now, this time you are listening, not, you cannot say it's like, it sounds like live guitar. It is actually live guitar. So because it is live guitar that is played in studio, recorded, looped in studio and used uh, in Catron, inside of Catron. And now you are listening that guitar, live guitar, recording of live guitar that is sounding like live guitar not like it is actually live guitar now what we did here now we have folder inside of folder we have guitar folder and then inside of guitar folder we have begin 104 it means that guitar is re, uh, that is type of style begin recorded in tempo 104 but it is played in tempo 126 let me go just to make it sure this guitar is played in tempo 126, but recorded in 104. Because those live instruments can go down uh, uh, from uh, uh, 104 to 88 speed of tempo and can go up. It is different a little bit uh, from uh, drums. Uh, remember uh, drums, you have to make several versions of the drums to uh, have opportunity to stretch those drums in higher or lower tempo. But this time with, with guitars, they are going much higher and much lower without any problem and they are playing very well. So this guitar 126 tempo is recorded in 104 tempo. Now what you have to do, what do we have inside of folder? We have chords that are recorded, live chords, live guitar chords that are recorded on each tone of scale. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. You have to record each tone of scale. In my previous video, I told you you can record just white keys, but then in Cubase, you have to stretch them because we know in studio, when you have some audio recording, you can stretch it half uh, 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 tone up, up or down and it is going to be acceptable. So I was thinking if you record only white keys, then you have in Cubase to make from C C sharp version from the D sharp version, but inside of Catron has to be clear everything. 
every single key has to be recorded and has to be put inside a folder and there must be name major c if is that type of chord major then minor c seventh c sus c sixth c whatever type of chord you want to have you have to record it name it put inside a folder and then you will be able to listen that so when you record chord in good studio with good musician when you make good looping and then uh, if you prepare everything on proper way put it in folder then it is going to sound like this so listen to that again one variation with chord changes and type of chord look at seven seven chord chord changes And everything is coming out from Catch On Event Keyboard. Please put your comment what you think about that. Now I have something that I will tell you about sound module. I told you some information in my previous video and I told you some information a uh, uh, long time ago in some of my videos about that module. In the beginning, I had information that a Catch On Event module is going to be same like Hetron Event Keyboard. Then recently I got some information because of price they may scale down version of that module. What I told you in my previous video and I asked you what is your opinion? I have some reaction on my video of the people so I got information that it is going be to be uh, like I told you before it is going to be full version of Hetron Event Keyboard in package or module like it is difference between sd90 and sd9 audio 4 audio 5 it is good news and i hope that news is going to be like that what we knew before of some suspicious information that i got a couple days ago so it is going to be fun uh, fully functional Keton event sound module only things that are going to be different is that module is not going to have all buttons and all commands that we can find on Catron keyboard. That is logic. We knew that. We, we know that all buttons you cannot find in, so, uh, in different space. But all functions will be there and it, they will be accessible through touch screen or through uh, a good controller like this controller that I have in front of me. The best controller ever is Novation 49 SL MK or Novation like MK2 version MK2. I am going to uh, make another video about MK2 just to give you more and more information about that controller so you can know what you are can do on this controller but you cannot do on other controllers. And I am going to again use uh, Novation MK3 version to see what we can do on MK3 because it is very hard to find MK2 today. And I had already MK3, I made some videos. I didn't like some things about MK3 because you have to do work um, uh, very hard if you want to work on a, a controller and mostly you have to go through software. I like to use controller and to work through controller, but many people like to work uh, through software. So I'm going to use that uh, novation and explore to see how it works now i just want to mention one thing in this video before i move it is not related to Catron, but it's very important if you want to use controller so there is another novation controller that is uh, uh, called novation impulse but that controller cannot send sysx messages and those messages you need if you want to operate start stop variation changes and those things though that's why that uh control is is uh, limited only to send information if you want to control sounds or styles something like that but not uh, a lot of things so uh but we will talk about that in 
controller section when I uh, explore controllers and when I make video about controllers. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, I have some additional information, but that is way how I want to do that video. Please subscribe and send me some thoughts about this video.